Hello, welcome to my new tutorial. Oh my god, what is happening with my voice? Hello my dear friends and welcome back, my name is Kabir from Visual Cube. In this tutorial we are gonna do something amazing. Basically we're gonna create a whole building from single image. Is that cool? So if you want more videos like this, click that subscribe button and also don't forget to click that notification bell. So right now we're gonna go and jump in Blender. So the first thing what we need to do here is to enable add-on called images as planes. So we're gonna do that by going here in the edit and preferences and in preferences we're gonna go here and type images and we can see that we have this uh, option over here and we're gonna go and check this box and go down here and click save preferences. Okay, so the next step is to add that image which we want to use for creating our building. So, click shift A to add and go here in image and in image go and select images as planes. And right now you can see that I have my textures here which I wanna use for that, uh, for that building. So I'm gonna select this this image over here so double click and right now we have this plane here in our 3d space so you can see that we can't see our image here because we are in solid mode viewport so i'm gonna go here and select look dev mode and right now we can see our image okay select it and i'm gonna rotate it uh, on x-axis for 90 degrees and click s to scale up and scale it up somewhere around there, something like this, and grab and move it on, on Z axis. Okay, so the next step, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go in edit mode and start adding a loop cuts. And after that, we're gonna extrude things which we want to extrude in and extrude out. So for example, over here, we're gonna go and extrude in uh, all windows and we're gonna extrude out these um, walls. So go in edit mode, select the phase select here and add a loop cuts. So control R to add and add your loop cuts on these walls. And basically repeat that uh, these steps. All right. After that, we're gonna go and uh, create the horizontal loop cuts to make a loop cut for windows. And again, repeat these steps again and again. And also for this one. Okay. So as you can see here, we have this little part over here and also we're gonna create a loop cut for these parts. One here, one here. And also for this here. Okay. And also for this one over here. Also, we're gonna create the loop cuts for the these frames and do the same steps again. Add a loop cuts, one horizontal or one vertical, and make that window frame. And when you finish with your loop cuts, we can go around and see which uh, edges we want to use for, for our extruding options. So I'm gonna go and select everything what I don't want to extrude and simply delete that. And I'm just gonna go and click uh, delete key on my keyboard and click here dissolve edges and now we have our clear space over here and we can also clear this part over here and finally we are finished with this brain pain part so right now we can start extruding our building okay so go here and face select and select everything what you want to extrude out. You need to extrude and extrude it out. Like this. 
and go around and select these windows here. And we're going to extrude in these windows like this. So we are finished with our extruding. Right now what we're going to do is we need to correct sides of these walls over here as you can see. So we have some glitches over here with textures. So we're going to fix that by going in UV editing. So here we go. Click there and we are in UV editing. And if I click here on this, uh, on this uh, right window over here, A to select all, we can see that we have in this uh, left window our UV maps. Also go here and select this option over here which said UV sync selection. So what this option does basically, for example, if I select something here in this 3D space, uh, for example, this wall, and we can see it will be automatically synced with our UV map. Also go here and change this viewport from shading to look dev to see what is happening there. Okay, select here the face selector and go around and select every face which you want to correct in your UVs. This one and this one, and also this one. And if you have some uh, extra loop cuts over here, go and select with this uh, edge select and dissolve them. Okay, and right now what I'm gonna do uh, when we select everything, what we want to uh, correct, click U on your keyboard to open this menu over here, UV mapping, and just click a smart project and click OK. And right now we can see that we have a lot of a lot of these UVs um, merged into into this one. So basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select from this side over here, and we can go one by one. Uh, to start creating the uh, UVs. So we can scale them down. We can put it over here. We can scale it on Z axis, move it up if you want. Just play around. Repeat the same step for every wall. So after we finish with our UV editing, we can go and spend some some extra time to create our textures a little bit realistic over here in this building. So basically, we can go and give some height to these to these bricks. We can also add a reflection to to these uh, windows here. So let's let's do it. So I'm gonna go here in shading, and in shading we have these three shaders. So I'm gonna delete them, and I'm gonna go here Shift A to add a shader and shader principled BSDF. So I'm going to connect this image texture here in base color and this, uh, and this BSDF to surface. And right now we have our surface over here, as you can see. So I'm going to duplicate this uh, image texture over here. I'm going to click here on this number two to duplicate this picture. And in this color space over here, I'm going to select uh, non color. And I'm going to add uh, color ramp and connect that color ramp color with factor and color with a roughness over here and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna simply reverse these two like this and we can move it somewhere around here move it more just to have this uh, reflection, this pretty reflection over here in these bricks. And also we're going to give some height on this uh, bricks over here. So I'm going to duplicate this image texture here and put it over here. And I'm going to change from this texture and I'm going to change to this one bump. The link is going to be in the description below. And we're going to add a math over here. Add a math, put it somewhere around here, connect value to displacement, and this color we're going to connect over here in this second. And right now we can see that we have height. So I'm going to 
because it's too crazy right now I'm gonna move this down and also change to multiply and type minus point uh, minus 0 0.2 uh, for example or 3 okay and right now we have that height so the next step, what we're going to do here is we're going to go and add some reflection in this, these windows over here. So we can do that by going here in material and we're going to add a new material here and click new. And I'm going to go here and add again, shift A, the image texture, add an image texture here and open that and also connect this uh, color to base color and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go in edit mode and select uh, every face of this window which is gonna be uh, reflective so I'm gonna select these faces here this one this one and this one okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this material which we are created before and click assign and also, you can go here and on roughness and put the roughness down. And we can see right now we have reflective material created. To create a little bit more realistically, we can add some dust particles on, on, this, uh, on these windows here. So we can uh, shift D, duplicate this here. And we can go again in folder to select this uh, dust overlay. And we can connect that with uh, roughness and as you can see here right now we have that uh, dust dust uh, overlay on our windows so guys basically we're finished with this so if you want to create a whole building you can just go around and duplicate a couple of times rotate it move it and basically you can f uh, create a whole building with this one side Okay guys, that is it for this video. I hope you learned something in this tutorial. If you learned something, click that subscribe button, smash that like button, and also share with your friends. Cabot here from Visual Cube, and see you in the next video.